Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to week number 45 of the Horror Man Slashback Saturday Challenge. This week's slasher movie theme is Maniacal Mask Slashers, and I will be giving my review for Unmasked Part 25. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. Jackson is your run-of-the-mill, hockey mask-wearing, psychotic killer. Hideously deformed, he spends his time stalking and brutally murdering oversexed young people in a variety of nasty methods. But then he meets Sally, a young blind woman who appreciates him as a person. It helps that she can't see the carnage he leaves at every turn. Finding himself falling in love for the first time, Jackson decides that it might be time to finally hang up his cruelty and settle into a happy life of domestic bliss. But can he really overcome his bloodthirsty impulses? Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. With this week's Slashback Challenge theme of Maniacal Masked Slashers, I chose to review Unmasked Part 25 because it has a really awesome hockey mask wearing killer. Also, it's a slasher movie that I have never seen before. And finally, the killer in this movie is definitely maniacal. He expresses some extremely wild and violent behavior. Okay, so Unmasked Part 25 is basically a spoof of Friday the 13th. There's a lot of stuff from Friday the 13th that they try to poke fun at, and I thought some of it was funny, but for the most part, I just kind of went with it. Okay, so in this movie, we have Jackson, not Jason, who as a boy was believed to have drowned at a lake when he was at summer camp. But, of course, he survives and grows up to be a psychotic killer who has mommy and daddy issues. The other part of the story is basically a love story. Jackson meets a blind girl. They hit it off. They fall in love. He decides to take off his mask. He wants to give up killing. And of course, this is why they call the movie Unmasked. But the alternate title is also called Hand of Death. So he's having a hard time giving up killing. So this is pretty much the part of the storyline I didn't care for as much. But overall, I did enjoy this movie. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the cast of characters we have in Unmasked Part 25. This story is basically told through the point of view of Jackson. He is the story's main character, so I thought that was pretty cool that the main focus was on the killer. He ends up meeting Shelly, who becomes his blind girlfriend. So she's definitely a very important character for the story. And another really important character is Jackson's father, who gives us some backstory on some family history. So that was pretty cool. All the rest of the characters are basically throwaway characters. The movie opens up with Jackson on a killing spree, and that's when he meets Shelly. And later on, he is pursuing some more of Shelly's friends. So that basically rounds out the cast of characters we have in Unmasked Part 25. Overall, I thought the characters were pretty decent. They were pretty enjoyable for the most part. And I thought the acting was good enough. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie. That is the killer and the kills. So I really like the killer in this movie, Jackson. I especially like him when he's wearing the hockey mask. Even though they are trying to spoof Friday the 13th, I thought his hockey mask looked more like the one Chevy Chase used in christmas vacation but overall it's a really cool mask and it's a really cool character i didn't really enjoy his unmasked part of the movie as much but overall he's still a really maniacal killer who seems to struggle back and forth whether or not he really wants to kill and considering the fact that he does deal with that struggle he is still a very accomplished killer because this movie has a really high body count, we're treated to a wide variety of kills. Jackson uses anything and everything he can get his hands on. So, some very fun and entertaining death scenes. Overall, I feel for this reason alone, definitely makes this movie 
worth a watch for slasher movie fans. I thought this transfer, this release by Vinegar Syndrome was fantastic. I loved the way this movie was shot and filmed. So even though I didn't really enjoy some of the love story elements to this movie, overall I do find this a very fun and very entertaining slasher movie. I'm going to give Unmasked Part 25 a 7 out of 10, and I would really like to see Part 1 through 24, or possibly even sequels to this one, but probably at this point that's not going to happen, but wouldn't that be something? Please like, subscribe, comment below, let me know if you have seen Unmasked Part 25, or just let me know what you think about my review, and I would like to thank you all for watching.